Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 3 of the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. So, we are in the Viridian Forest. We have about 5 Pokemon looking very, very good. So, let's quickly go and show you them. We've got Winston who's poisoned, so I'm going to fix that up. But at the moment, I think we should probably level these two guys. Actually, what we might do is we might stick with Winston up front and we'll leave these two until we leave the Viridian Forest because at the moment I'm more interested in getting Winston and Menasaur up to uh, the point where they've got moves that can deal with the first gym. Alright, let's get moving. Oh, the first thing I need to do is I need to heal That. He needs an antidote. And from there, I reckon we should be good. Alright. We're going to try and get a few battles in here. See if we can get these guys up a few levels. Another Weedle. String shot, don't mind that, as long as it's not poison as long as it's not poison sting, you can avoid getting poisoned. So my plan for the next gym is to get Winston and Menasaur up to about 13, 14 or so. At that point they should be strong enough to firstly hold on against Brock's Pokemon. And they should also have some solid moves that um, they can use. So at the moment, Winston has Low Kick, which will be a great against Brock's Pokemon. Alright. Oh, that's nice. Let's keep Winston there. Another Weedle. Alright. String Shot again. Slowing down Winston a fair bit. Let's, let's keep bashing that Scratch. Keeping me real tied down here. Uh, of course. Poisoned. Seems to be a common running theme here. He should be right to get through this last one. Alright, Winston's up to level 8. Handy. We might actually use this this chance to get Radis up because Kakuna should only know Harden. And at this point we can just keep bashing tackle and while he keeps continuously hardening. So while we're sitting here, I just thought I'd have a quick chat. I've sort of been watching Nuzlocke being played on YouTube a fair bit. And to be honest, they're something that's just have really interested me in the past. And I play them pretty regularly in just, um, just privately, just on my own, uh, my own 3DS. Um, so they're really something that really interests me. Like, I really do love the idea of Pokemon. I do love... I have since since when it first came out, when the first original Red and Blue came out. But the thing is, the thing I have found with Pokemon as the years have got older, and I've obviously gotten older and gotten more accomplished as a gamer, is they are they are really easy. They're super easy. So any way to make the story more um, more difficult and more sort of enthralling for me is anything that's good in my book because. It's such a such a great idea, and having some sort of hard version to play is great. All right, quickly go pick that up. All right, potion. Let's 
potion. Alright. Um, yeah. So, I like, I really do like the idea of a hard, a hard mode. Um, I really wish Pokemon would intro introduce a hard mode. I remember, I don't know if it was black or white, one of those two introduced a hard mode. Uh, so when you beat, when you beat the game, you got a chance to play on hard. And I never got around to doing it. Um, all I remember people saying though is all it did was just raise the levels of the Pokemon universe, which, while that is that does make it harder for sure, it I remember just Loki is ineffective against bugs. I was just double checking, which is all well and good to have that, but the thing that's always got me is the AI. Like if you could somehow upgrade that AI. Um, and make it a bit more of a challenging where the poke or opponent Pokemon, the opponent's Pokemon change um, when they have a matchup that doesn't match them or when they want to switch out to something else. Give it a bit more sort of difficulty towards it. Now I do realise it is a game aimed at children. I'm not not worried about that at all. But at the same time, there's a lot of poke there's a lot of people that are fans of this game that are t in their twenties, in their thirties that really do enjoy it, and it'd be nice to see them that they sort of thought of something like that for them. Now, they're probably never going to do that because at the moment, Pokemon still makes an absolute fuckload of money the way, the exact way it is, and they don't have to change the formula at all. So with I with Pokemon um, Sun and Moon coming out, I doubt they're going to go and change that. Excellent. Alright, let's get going to this forest. Anything in here? Nope. Caterpie. Nice hits. Alright, let's keep going down. Um, yeah, so I can't see them changing the formula anytime soon, but it would be nice if they if they thought about it. Another thing I'd love them to do is come out with a Pokemon game that's a full uh, console version, like one for the Wii U or the um, NX, which is supposedly supposed to come out next year. So if they do that, I imagine a lot of people will be buying NX or Wii U consoles just to play that game. The same way that Zelda games inspire people to just buy um, the console just for that Zelda game, I imagine Pokemon would have the same sort of effect on people. Alright, we're just gonna keep walking along here. Uh, da, 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 da. Here we go, another trainer. Metapod, good. Good use for leveling. Remember when I first, now, this is a while ago, when I first played the red and blue versions of this game, I remember, I remember playing, and I remember, like, now you'll probably see me, I'll probably go and try and evenly level my Pokemon, or focus on four or so Pokemon, and the other two were sort of just there for HMs, but I remember the first time I played through blue, I had two Pokemon, and I used two Pokemon right up until... Probably about the Elite Four. And the two Pokemon I used were... I had a Blastoise, which ended up being about almost level 100. And I had a Clefable that was at about a level... I don't know what level is Clefable. Clefable would have been about level 70 or so. So I had two Pokemon. And they absolutely just ran straight across this game. Now I, had, I did black out a few times against a few different gym leaders. And all that forced me to do was grind more, but just the the strategy that I used in that game is so much different to the strategy that I use in these games, where it's I get a nice even team, I level them all up evenly, they all evolve evenly, and they all have a lot of bases covered. Alright, so I don't think Wins actually has any scratches left, so I'm going to... Sorry, I'm going to switch out to Rattus. Yeah, so in the comments below, if you if you're watching this 
what are your different strategies? Do you do you level one or two Pokemon and just focus on those two, or do you get a nice even team, or do you just wait until you can catch all the legendaries and then fly through the game with legendaries? Do let me know in the comments below. My friends will probably tell you I am not I'm not huge on the whole legendary thing. I actually sort of I don't really sort of enjoy it. I don't know why. I like having I like having Pokemon that I that other people can access. Um, I don't know. Like probably my favorite legendary is probably Articuno. Maybe. Um, yeah, it's 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 a hard one because they're so powerful. But they make I feel like sometimes they make the game really easy. And I do like, and I feel like having trained all these group of Pokemon up or. And then getting to the Elite Four and going, no, nah, I'm going to use these Legendaries because this is going to wipe it a lot easier. Um, I found that was a bit... I find it a bit of a cop-out. I always, I feel like I have some sort of attachment to these pixels in front of me on the screen. Good job, Rabbit. No wings are level 10. Handy. His attack's huge. And Raddus is level 7. Good. Learn quick attack handy. Alright, yeah, so I always found it a bit of a cop out to get these legendaries and get to Elite Four and change all the Pokemon that I've got sentimental attachments to just to um, just to switch them out and then not use them, not get them in the Hall of Fame in the Elite Four. Uh, Alright, let's switch them to Venusaur. Menosaur should wipe through the rest of this forest pretty easily. Um, so yeah, also let me know below. So, first thing, let me know below how you level your Pokemon. Do you level the one, or do you level a whole even team? And the second thing, let me know if you're a fan of legendaries, or you want to, you like me, and you catch a legendary, and as soon as you catch it, you're like, in the box with you. Because that's how I feel, that's how I feel about them anyway. Um, at the moment, there's not much to really talk about, no, as far as strategy or battle-wise, just rolling on through the uh, Viridian Forest. I do love the music for the Viridian Forest. I may have mentioned it last episode, but it just sounds really nice. Alright. I think there's one more bug catcher left. I think we're out. So pretty much I'm going to be taking this team into Brock, and I think I should be alright. Weedle's level 9. Menosaur should have it easily covered. And does so. Easy as. They're saying that my favourite... My favourite legendary is probably Articuno, as I probably mentioned before. Um, I'm not... I like, I like the legendary birds from the original. Like, Articuno and Zapdos are probably two of my favourite. Moltres, I was a bit... Nah, I didn't really care about Moltres, but... The Zapdos and Articuno are my favourites. And, um... Mewtwo... Mewtwo was a bit... Nah. I sort of didn't really care for Mewtwo too much. But... Oh, uh, Pewter City. Nice. Alright, Pokemon Center. Um, yeah... I don't really, and now, but now you get to whatever generation we're in, I think we're in generation, I think generation 6 is coming out at the end of the year, now there's like, I can't even count how many legendaries there are, and I've lost track of all of them, but the ones that stand out to me the most are still the originals, the three legendary birds, and then, uh, and then the new two. Alright, guys, I'm going to, from, from now, so I'm level 10, so level 10, level 7, level 10, 5 and 5, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a bit of grinding. I'm going to try and get these guys up a bit to a proper level and then I'll go and vert Brock. And that is the end of my grinding, guys. So I've been grinding for a little bit. Um, just to end the episode, I'm going to give you a bit of an update on the team and what the team is looking like. So if we go over here, I've got um, Wheeze, Pies and Radis. They're all up to level 7. Um, I'm not going to be using them in, uh, for the upcoming gym. They're not really that important for this. Um, if I get to the point where I need to sacrifice Pokemon to keep the series going, it'll probably be one of these three. Um, these are the two Pokemon that I'm going to be looking to be using to dominate the gym. So we've got Winston. 
up to level 11. Um, he knows Scratch, Lear, Low Kick, and Karate Chop. Low Kick and Karate Chop will be super useful. Uh, against Brock, they should... Winston alone can probably, hopefully, solo him himself, but we'll see how we go. And then we also have Menasaur, who, by himself, Fire Pokemon against Rock doesn't work really well. But if you go across to his moves, Metal Claw is super effective against Rock Pokemon. So if Mankey can't get it done or if he's struggling a bit, then I can always bring in uh, Charmander or Menasaur with Metal Claw. So guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Next episode, I'm going to be taking on Brock for my first gym and hopefully getting my first badge. Thank you for watching, guys. Do like the video if you're enjoying the series. Subscribe so you don't miss an episode of my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. Thank you for watching, guys and girls, and I'll see you later.